Hey guys, welcome back to the MATLAB. Today we're going to look at dodge and burn. Um, and here's a quick before and after. Before and after. Before and after. Okay, so the simple idea behind dodge and burn is that we make the darks a little bit darker and the lights a little bit lighter. Um, so we're going to use a really small and really soft brush, so the biggest possible um, feather that you can put on your brush, and we're going to just put a tiny little bit of exposure, so we're plus 0 0.1, and again guys this is exactly the same between Lightroom and Camera Raw. We zoomed in at 100% just so that we've got the uh, ability to see what we're doing. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to look at the light areas and we're going to paint on you'll notice that it almost doesn't seem like anything's happening. I'm just going to zoom in a lot further here. And that's important to note that almost doesn't look like anything's happening because this is really subtle at this stage, but at the end you will see just how big a difference that this makes. And it will, um, it will surprise you, okay? It is a really, really big difference even though it looks like we're not doing too much. So we're just painting in some of the highlights here, just some of the lighter areas. Neck here. Don't forget the uh, neck area, the collarbones. This line here. And we'll come to the hair as well in a second. So we're just doing this real fast. Okay. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more on the lips there, just to make this a little bit easier. Okay, so that's the highlights, real quick, real simple. We're going to create a new adjustment brush this time, and this time we're going to go down to minus 0 0.1, and we're going to do pretty much the same, but just on the shadows. So, just come in the eyes here. Trying to notice where a lot of the shadow areas are. So I'm just going to make a little bit of a smaller brush for this bit here. That jawline is, is really important because that's all we're trying to do is we're trying to define the different areas of the picture and just sort of bring them out, make them pop just a little bit more. Okay. Just do the same with the lips again, but again, avoiding the highlights because we've got the all right. So I will just um, show you the mask that we've just created. You can see it's sort of um, a little bit patchy, and actually, this mask helps you see where you might want to just add a little bit more your brush. That just helps us see where we've done it. In fact, I can just see a little spot that's a good place to often do these adjustments. Be careful because of course some lines you don't want to make more obvious. Okay, so let me turn that mask off. So it just shows you where I've brushed. Okay, and remember this is a really small brush and a really um, soft brush. So I'm just going to come back to the highlights really quick because it would be great to just do some on the hair because there's this fantastic um, hair and colour here and the highlights are just captured really nicely. So I'm just going to again paint on these little patches that are a bit brighter. Remember this is the cheats version so we're just doing a really simple quick version of this I'm just come in here and do these little bits okay so you get the idea here I'll just put a little darker bit here 
you get the idea okay so that is our image with some sort of cheats dodge and burn on it now let's just quickly do a before and after i'll just create, create a snapshot e and B. so to compare before and after let's just zoom in as well so we can see that a little bit clearer So the difference is quite big, and that's why it's really important to just do very, very slight adjustments um, with, with a soft brush, so that it's not too harsh. If you'd like access to more tutorials ranging from things like Photoshop all the way through to how to get more Facebook likes, head over to matlab.com forward slash PS, the link is below, um, and sign up for that email list there.